see uh, restrooms right there. Uh, with that, uh, again, thank you very much indeed, and I'm going to hand it off to, to Mike. All right, thank you so much for being here. As I look around the room, it's a smaller crowd, but I'm really encouraged by the faces I see here. And so for some of our elected officials who may or may not know, we have the Roundup owners here. We appreciate them for being here. We have Hamburger Mary's. We have Cavern, which owns most of the gay bars on the Strip. Um, I'm filling in for Harvey from The Hidden Door, since he was under the weather today. And uh, we have a lot of different business owners from the LGBTQ plus community who are kind of concerned about this issue. So obviously we've all been coordinating and trying to figure out what type of security solution we might kind of be able to come up for this neighborhood, this district. And we've been quite troubled by the response time that we've been receiving by the Dallas PD. Uh, let me just give you an example of on one of one of the particular Sundays, we had approximately 800 people trying to leave the 10 o'clock service and another 600 trying to um, trying to come in at the, for the 11.45. <clears throat> and we had Nazis that basically blocked the exits and the entrances. It was really, really disturbing. Many of us, like myself, who volunteered here at the church, we went out to try to give some coverage. People were terrified. Um, we had people screaming racist slurs at African-American people. We had people calling for their death. We heard people calling for the annihilation of the Jews. We, we heard people calling different individuals obese, fat, and they should die of a heart attack. Things that no person should have to hear when they're going to a place of worship are no kids should have to hear as they're leaving children's church. It was appalling to me. And I've been in a lot of different political situations as a progressive Democrat, and I've stand, stood up against a lot of mega people and a lot of right-wing Christian coalition. But I will say this much. I have never in my life been faced with the type of rhetoric and hate that I heard that day. It was scary. And not only was I afraid for my life, I was very much afraid for the individuals who were leaving the church that day. And then we also have seen that move on to the strip. Um, we've seen people trying to protest drag shows, as we know, <laughs> Representative Anchia and I fought that legislation pretty successfully to a certain <laughs> degree, and now it was killed by the courts. And as we move on, this is going to reach a boiling point at some point in time. Um, something's going to go wrong. You don't have people wearing masks outside of a church or a synagogue or outside of a brunch spot with bear meats and carrying concealed weapons. And the response time for the local <coughs> PD is around 40 minutes to a situation like that. And then they just send one person out to check the situation. And then they're like, oh my God, this is really bad. And so then it takes them another 20 minutes to get another six or seven cops out to kind of help alleviate the situation. And so th this can't continue to happen. And as we move forward as a community, we need to start to work towards protecting ourselves. And something that all of us in the community who have been meeting, and we've had several, and we've had multiple meetings, and one of the things that we wanted to bring everybody together today to talk about is how we can not only make our communities more secure and safer, but how can we think outside of the box? And one of those things that we were thinking about was possibly creating a MUD or an improvement district for security purposes. Because this cannot continue to go on. And I don't want to sit back here. And I know that most of our religious faith leaders and most of our own business owners here we don't want to be having this conversation when we have a bunch of dead bodies, or a shooting, or a bombing, or a fire bombing. And so we're trying to get ahead of the situation. We're trying to come up with some solutions. And so that's one of the things that we're looking at doing. And so we want to kind of bring everybody together to kind of talk about that. But first of all, we also want to kind of hear some of your concerns 